So in this quick video, let's uncover how to find um, high growth companies. So how, how do I find high growth company with, companies with Finviz? Finviz is a, a free stock screener. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Just go to finviz.com. You can create an account or do it without an account. Uh, click screener. And this is where you can filter companies like all companies or big companies. They have big and small companies. Um, yeah, and you can you can find out uh, the different uh, companies with high growth. So how would you do this? First, um, I, so I like simple screens, right? I like I'm I'm home in the technology sector, so I'm always looking for technology. You could also skip this, right? Now we have gone gone from like thousands of companies to only 789 companies because not all of them are technology companies, right? Often I also like to to add companies that are at least mid-sized so over 2 billion right now we have companies because the, the smaller companies below 2 billion of market market capitalization have low liquidity so you would pay significantly pay for acquiring the shares and oftentimes if you trade large amounts it would be like impossible for you to um you would you would change the market you would you would uh, affect the market with your trades if you if you trade uh, significant amounts but also like the liquidity often for small investors this might not be an a big reason but for uh, but it, it is for um, the liquidity the missing liquidity is still a disadvantage because you would have to pay a higher spread so the difference between the ask and the bid price okay but let's let's go to the fundamental screen here and we can um, now the most simple thing to do is go to uh, the fundamental screen valuation and then simply sort by sales growth right and now we have we found the sales growth with the with the smallest sales growth, and now we find we click again to sort by sales growth to find companies with the highest sales growth, and this is an annual sales growth number, if I'm not mistaken. So um, this company, Echo Star Corp, has grown the sales by 168 percent every single year in the last five years. But this is not actually how I, how I would do it. Why? Because I think. Um, it is it is a bit too um, I mean it is good to, to get a quick overview right but sales is not everything right often we need to also have a positive earning per share growth in order to, in order for companies to become more and more efficient over time so I would actually um, filter for EPS growth next year EPS growth past five years so they should have a proven track record of growing their earnings per share and the expected earning per share growth this year should also be positive, right? And um, and next five years should also be positive. So it should not be like a company that stops growing. We want to have long long term growth assets. So it should be obvious, like Nvidia or so. Finding and ah, okay, you can see the third company uh, proposed here already is Nvidia with by far the highest margin, uh, market cap of our companies. Now, this is a company that has experienced a high annual sales growth. So they have proven they have a product uh, that has significantly grown over the past five years, but they also have proven that the earnings per share grew. And often I'm looking for companies where actually the earning per share growth is larger than the sales growth. Why is that? Because this, or at least as large, right? Why is that? The reason is, um, if if and from the fa past five years so if you look at the sales growth in the past five years we also want to have earnings per share growth in the past five years that is at least similar maybe even larger than the sales growth why is that so if they if they double the unit sales then a great a good company if it sales twice the number of units should actually make a larger profit per unit right this indicates that there is some kind of rights law at play and so we are looking for those type of companies and here we ca you can see sales growth of nvidia is 46.68 percent but the earnings per share growth in the last five years is 48 percent so it is bigger than the sales growth right so we have more we the earnings per share actually grow faster than the sales but the sales already grow significantly this this shows that this company is in the disruptive innovation space and these kind of growth growth st stories seem to be uh, are often very sticky very sustainable so uh, nvidia would be like the, the obvious play here right so you could maybe 
further investigate NVIDIA. This is only a starting point. By the way, not, none of this is investment advice, but this is only a starting point I often use to find companies with good growth stories. Here, this company, the first company, might have a higher sales growth in the past five years, but it does not have an, um, a high earning per share growth in the past five years. So it could still be interesting, right? I'm like, I know I don't know even I even don't know this company could be interesting but I'm looking for specifically for those companies that become uh, that have some t some kind of operating efficiency that become more efficient the more they grow um, this is like for example Tesla unit sales right if Tesla grows sales then you selling more units producing more units you would expect that the profit per unit actually also incre increases these are the great companies that can that can really give us some some sustainable growth stories. This company here, this DV DV company, seems like a good company as well, right? Why? Because we have forty one percent annual sales growth, which is great, but we also have eighty two percent earning per share growth in the past five years, right? So the earning per share per, per share increased faster than the sales. So this could be an interesting company. Double verify holdings. Let's maybe Google it quickly. Double verify holdings. You know what? Let's use ChatGPT. I think it is even a better research tool for. Tell me everything you know about this company. This is not investment advice. I have just found, the, found out about this company the first time. So it's a software platform that specializes in digital media measurements and data analytics. But the sales and earnings per share growth indicates that this company has a CEO who knows what he does, right? And I, I, I would expect that the CEO is even like a large shareholder with significant amounts of share, but this is only like my wild guess. Um, yeah, it's like it's about digital advertisement, advertising campaigns. They reported revenues of five hundred seventy-two million. Okay, so I also like to investigate the chief executive officer. So let's search for Mark Sagorski. this okay so it's like about digital marketing i don't know how much you can scale digital marketing so i probably would pass this company uh, honestly um but it's like digital marketing of course you could become a big company but there's like i don't know it could be something right i I'm not really sure. I have not analyzed them completely. You would have to read the annual reports by them or even like check out my other videos on the Finkster YouTube channel where I show you how to use ChatGPT for all to help you analyze annual reports and get out some valuations because ChatGPT for all is good enough to give you annual uh, valuations like free cash flow analysis um, using only the annual and quarterly reports. Uh, by the way, also subscribe to our to our news uh, to our, to our channel you can also subscribe to our newsletter just go to thinkster.com but um i want um so if if possible just give me a like and subscribe to the channel i try to build up this channel a bit and find find followers who are interested in um in create in in, in technology technological innovation and finding being being on the right side of change by finding disruptive companies that benefit from the drastic change we are see currently seeing. And uh, yeah, in the last last couple of videos, we have seen significant uh, interest in our videos, like this video with 5K um, viewers, which is a lot like for, I think if 5,000 people listening to a video, I'm really impressed. Here, one, one of the videos, this one has seen 24,800 um, views, which is great for this type of investment tech. Uh, content right so check out our channel subscribe to our channel to stay informed and stay on the right side of change okay now what are some other companies um, stone co app fresh 
works. Is this Hello Fresh? Yeah, it could be interesting, right? Because they have also fallen a lot, right? You see, the the stock the price has dropped. They have they have proven sales and also earning per share growth. So we have earnings per share growth of 32% annually and uh, sales growth of 36% over the last five years. So this is also a growth story. Uh, currently out of Vogue, probably they have stopped growing for some time. If they can regain their growth story, then this could be a great uh, investment as well. Um, no investment advice. You would have to do your own research here for all companies, right? But this is like generally how I do it, how I how I find companies, um, good growth stories, stories with Finvis. Um, uh, yeah, personally, so I have seen more than north of 40% compound annual growth rate of my um, portfolio in the last 10 years. So this is my 10 years track record and uh, I have searched for companies using Finvis a lot, but I have also done other investments. Um, okay, so I think that's enough for today. Uh, if you if you like the video, if you like these kind of tips, then give me a like, subscribe to the channel. Also check out the Finkster Academy. Just go to academy.finkster.com to find our courses. These are our premium courses, but they help you be on the right side of change, building uh, digital native, AI native applications and businesses uh, using uh, like the novel, the new ways of uh, of scaling up your value creation by, for instance, multi-agent teams and systems using tools such as LangGraph. So go to academy.finkster.com. Here, here's the URL. Type it in and join us if you like. Thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate your time and uh, your attention. This is uh, the most valuable thing you have. I'm really grateful to have you here. I hope it provided some value and see you in the next video. Bye.